Welcome back. So now that when I click this, nothing happens, right? Because we still need the smart component to take care of deleting something um, whenever we emit something. But let's start out in our user service to actually create a delete user function in here. That's, I think that's possible now. So we'll do a delete user in here and uh, it's going to return just uh, a void. So it's not going to return anything interesting right now. We might figure something out later, like uh, it deleted fine or something like that. Let's just get this out of the way. That was old code. Now, how do we delete something? Well, it's luckily it's pretty simple. We just go in and say the list where we want to delete something, uh, and then we have to say remove to so delete it, and then we can add the key here or here. So let's just start out by adding the key in here. Now we need the key, of course. So let's send in a key, and with the type of string like this, and that key is actually just going to be passed on to this guy, and then it should be removed inside users. So now we have the function available, let's try and use it inside our smart component. And that's going to be inside the list. Now the list has access to each user item, so we can add a function here called delete user event, like this. And that delete user event is just going to call delete user, like this. So now we are in the smart component and here we're going to make a function called delete user that's going to use our user service to actually delete a user. So we're going down to the delete and creating the delete user inside the smart component and we're missing the key, right? So we have to, in this guy, send the event from the outside that's going to pass the key into our delete user. And then in here we're just going to call it key again just to make it simple and then we're going to use our user service. It's not there yet, so let's make it private user service. Notice that it's very easy with dependency injection. Whenever you require something you can just add it very quickly if you really figure out how to make the components proper. Um, and there we go, the user service now has something called delete user available. Whoops. Uh, by the way, maybe it's you only need to call delete on the user service, that's up to you. Somebody just, some just call it delete on the user service, but it's really up to you. So it would look something like this maybe where it just says delete right here. But it's up to you how you want to name that. So now we delete it and that should actually do the trick. Let's try and go and delete something and see how far we get. Exciting stuff. Doink. It's gone. It's gone. Oh my god, it's gone. It's also gone here. Ah, it worked. Yahoo! We rock. Let's delete one more. Now there's one problem with deleting things, that is we can't create them yet. So I guess it's time now to start creating things as well. See you in the next lesson where we'll try and make a create page. Have fun.